Bubble forming is a technique to create a highly conforming prosthetic socket or liners. You can do this with all of our Orphitrans thermoplastic sheets. With this forming technique, we will place a thermoplastic sheet in a frame and we will activate it in a convection or an infrared oven. As the sheets melt, it will drop down and form a bubble. This bubble we will pull over our mold and we will use vacuum to have a perfect conformity. Let's go over to the different steps. Before you get started, ensure that all necessary tools are within reach to be able to work quickly and efficiently. Keep a copy of the Orphitrans safety data sheets on hand at all times. The first thing we'll need to do is to prepare the positive mold for bubble forming. We are using a plaster mold. Carve four air extraction ducts in the plaster material. These will allow the air to escape when activating the vacuum during the bubble forming process. Now you can spray the mold with an acrylic varnish. Do this below an air extractor. The varnish will insulate the mold and prevent water from coming into contact with the thermoplastic later on. Allow this to set. Once the varnish is dry, vertically position your model and connect the vacuum pump. The vacuum is essential for bubble forming to create a highly conforming socket. Treat the mold with a very light layer of silicone demolding spray. This silicone layer will make it much easier to remove the socket from the mold once it has cooled down. If you prefer, you can stretch a cotton stockinette over the mold. This will further help you to remove the socket. But be careful. Make sure to position the stockinette correctly. Otherwise, the pattern of the fabric can transfer onto the inside of the socket and create a rough surface. Check the alignment of the positive mold. Try to position it perfectly straight before you start molding. Preheat your oven to activate the thermoplastic sheet. You can use a convection or infrared oven according to your personal preference. Each Orphitrans sheet has its own optimal heating temperature, which you can find in the instructions of use. We are using an Orphitrans stiff sheet with a 12 mm thickness, so we will set the temperature at 160 degrees Celsius or 320 Fahrenheit. Check the sheet for any damage or non-conformities before use. In case of damage, do not use the item. Then locate the label on your sheet and retain it, or take an image of it. Remove the protective foil on both sides of the thermoplastic sheet. If you don't do this, the sheet will not heat correctly. Place the sheet in a supporting frame. If necessary, trim the corners for an exact fit. Secure the frame. Put the frame on a support rack and place this in the oven. Make sure that there is enough space for the bubble to drop. Set the timer at the correct heating time. Keep an eye on it as the bubble starts to form. Let the bubble drop to approximately two-thirds of the length of the socket. While the sheet is heating, look at the different sides of the positive mold. You'll need to make sure that you have enough material to evenly cover the entire surface. Once the sheet has dropped sufficiently, you can take it out of the oven. Always wear suitable clothing to avoid contact with the materials at very high temperatures. Wear proper insulating gloves. Hold the bubble slightly off-center over the top of the model for the best results. Pull the sheet down over the mold. If you are forming a stiff thermoplastic, use light pressure to pull the material down. Do this very slowly and keep the sheet straight. If, on the other hand, you're using a soft thermoplastic, support the sheet and keep it from dropping too quickly. 
Let the thermoplastic conform to the mold in a smooth and fluid movement. This will prevent bulging and unevenness. When you reach the proximal sides of the mold, activate the vacuum slowly. Let the sheet drop further down until the model is completely covered. If necessary, you can lightly press the material against the mold while wearing heat-resistant gloves. Allow the thermoplastic to cool down on the mold for 24 hours. When the socket has completely cooled and hardened, you can remove it from the mold. First, take the supporting frame off. Now you can roughly saw off the majority of the excess material. Then saw just above the proximal edge of the socket. Slide the socket off the mold or break the mold if necessary. Now you can smooth and polish the edges as preferred. And you're done! The finished socket should have an even thickness across the entire border.